Yes, thank you, Kamadul, and thank you, Mahathir, and other uh, speakers and comrades. I don't think we have time to uh, listen anybody, whether it is closing or... Uh, and uh, actually, the discussion we had from the previous speakers, I have very few to add, nothing actually, nothing to add. So I would like to say that what our previous speakers mentioned that we need a South Asian solidarity forum. This word normally we the lies the strength of the trade union, but we don't use nowadays. So first of all, if we see the democracy for workers, democracy is the right to be our national collective bargaining and participation in the national level policy maker. Unfortunately, right. when we, we have the notion of democracy or we just portray the, portray the picture of a democracy, we feel that, okay, fair election, a nice political environment, that is democracy. So I would like to request that when we talk about democracy, we need to promote this concept that democracy is people, people empowering. And when it is workers concept, we need their freedom association right to collective bargaining. So this sure. is my number one actual request to introduce in the agenda of, of your future uh, action and campaign. But when you say freedom association, I mentioned that we have uh, need uh, ideology based trade union, who is actually the inherent of the South Asian trade union movement. If we go back to 100 years back, the trade union movement started with the ideology based movement, uh, with the dream to exploitation free society. She never could not connect, she sent a message to me to send her regret to all of you that her connection lost. But in a person like Sri Naktar, those who are actually coming from the student background, yeah. with a very high profile student leader, but joined to the trade union with a dream to establish the exploit exploitation free society. That is not no more here. We have a lot of division here in the name sure. of international appellation, in the name of political appellation, in the name of so-called popular uh, movement, so yeah. all together, we are actually divided ourselves. I can tell you just one example. I'm just, I don't know either I can get, take one minute or not. Uh, today is the Rana Plaza day. If you think across the South Asia, is there any solidarity message from any organization? Any mm -hmm. union? But if you give, give it to Europe, there are maybe some reaction from Europe. Yeah. Right. So whether yeah. it is Rana Plaza, whether it is Vishakapattam, whether it is Ali Brothers, whether it is the present crisis of the Sri Lanka or present crisis in Nepal, we don't have any actually solidarity, true, movement, true. solidarity yeah. protest or expression, yeah. which can encourage our movement in our own national boundary, not there. The sufferings of migrant workers coming from all the Southeast East Asia among Middle East country to South Asia, in that time also the, the last uh, two years, that time also we could not stand together. Right. So right. this is the another word I would like to say that solidarity of the South Asian workers. And we say the workers, Definitely. that means those organization, those who represent the workers. Exactly. I guess exactly. all this division of uh, you know uh, chemistry and everything, whatever it is. Yeah. And third and last of last thing I'll say that you know even in this program. The research findings, the research uh, uh, findings, and the scholarly presentation I hear. But when you go for any uh, support to the trade union for bargaining, mm -hmm. we don't have these types of research available always. And as Apurva rightly mentioned, that we have lack of understanding about the work of trade union, and trade union has lack of access to these types of research. First mm -hmm. of all, for language thing. Second, most of our actual very high level academia thing. So in South Asia, we need a alliance of trade union, not only national center, not only the international affiliated organization, rather informal sector workers organization like sanitation workers, like agriculture workers, whatever we discuss with the academic institution, with the workers association. We yeah. have, we cannot afford a compartmental, you know, silo type division talking everything we are talking, each and everybody talk about the workers rights, but from our position, that's we cannot meet. With all this, I'm really uh, feel honored that I can join here and I meet, uh, see many of you, uh, especially Brother Kamatali, I meet for a long, long time. Apurva and Moitri, I met sometime, you know, even by virtual and, but thank you very much. And I would like to continue with all of you. Thank you, Bye. thank you very much.